Thousands of North Korean troops are currently concentrated in the Kursk region and are expected to join the fight in the coming days to bolster the Russian army. But the Ukrainian military will also receive important aid to counter the Russian onslaught. The latest aid package from the U.S. includes at least 212 striker armored vehicles. As Forbes analyst David Axe notes, most of the strikers transferred to Ukraine are already in the Kursk region, so it is likely that additional vehicles will also be transferred to this area. As the analyst explains, taking into account the loss of about two dozen strikers in combat, the new delivery from the US will increase the number of these armored vehicles in the Ukrainian armed forces to almost 400. At the same time, Ukraine usually distributes them among assault brigades, three battalions with 31 vehicles in each brigade. Previous batches of strikers were enough to equip the 80th and 82nd assault brigades, which in early August allocated battalions for the invasion of Kursk. The 3rd assault brigade, the 95th, is also in Kursk, and it does not yet have these vehicles. The analyst notes, emphasizing that it makes sense to equip this brigade now in order to equalize its forces with the other two. The maneuverable striker, with its top speed of 60 miles per hour, is well suited to the chaotic urban combat and rapid road assaults that characterize the fighting in the Kursk region. In addition to being fast and maneuverable, the vehicle is a good observation and firing platform for top mounted sensors and weapons, Axe said. At the same time, he added that in conditions of an acute shortage of people, the new strikers are most likely the only assistance that the Ukrainian military in the Kursk region will receive. According to Ukrainian intelligence, Russia has deployed more than 7,000 North Korean troops to the borders of Ukraine. It is noted that they were armed, in particular with 60mm mortars and AK-12 assault rifles. At the end of October, the U.S. State Department announced that there were about 10,000 North Korean troops in Russia, of which about 8,000 were in the Kursk region. It was then reported that this contingent could take part in combat operations in the coming days. As stated by the commander of the 24th Separate Assault Brigade, Aidar Stanislav Bunyatov, Russian troops have reduced their activity in the Kursk region. This may be due to the regrouping of troops and the entry of North Korean soldiers into positions. Russian security officer Igor Strelkov Girkin, who stood at the origins of the Russian war against Ukraine, called on Russians to prepare for a catastrophe in 2025. In the current situation, he blames the Putin regime and its imitation leadership style, when on paper everything is fine for the Russian Federation, but in reality, it is a disaster. A significant part of our power turned out to be inflated, and now the needs of the war far exceed the capabilities of our military industrial complex and the war has long since eaten up or is eating up all reserves of new weapons the russian security officer reported he also mentioned the disaster with the manpower that the army command is destroying at a rapid pace in ukraine he does not share the joy of kremlin propaganda regarding the advance of the russian armed forces in donbass he claims that there is no collapse of the ukrainian defense in reality the letter from strelkov who is in prison, was published by his associates. According to him, Russia is not capable of winning a decisive victory in the war today and therefore is trying to persuade Kyiv to capitulate, not very successfully. The advance of the Russian armed forces in Donbass will not force Kyiv to capitulate to the aggressor since this is supposedly a secondary front for the Ukrainian side. Very insignificant successes of the Russian army in the Donbass on a strategic scale are tended to be presented by our propaganda as a collapse of the front of the Ukrainian armed forces, Strelkov wrote. At the same time, Z Patriot noted, the Kremlin propagandists ignore the fact that the Russian Federation has no successes in the Kharkov and Kursk directions, and at this time Ukraine is delivering precise and very painful blows to the Russian rear. The enemy has and is saving reserves. Therefore, talking about the imminent collapse of its front due to the loss of several cities and urban-type settlements in the DPR is simply stupid. The enemy has been holding a regional center, the city of Sudza in the Kursk region, on the territory of the old regions for three months, and the Russian armed forces can do nothing about it. 
So why expect that the Ukrainians will agree to a ceasefire on terms favorable to Moscow? Strelkov wrote. He noted that the front remains in a stable state, which is costing the Russian army enormous losses in manpower and resources. The Czechist expressed confidence that if the situation worsens for the Ukrainian armed forces, the Allies will help Ukraine to level the playing field, in particular with the help of new technological solutions. Вот его, походу, в еб... Здесь раскидал. Ну такое ощущение, что да, смотри, как вот смотри, как часть вынесла, видишь, прям вырвала ее на пу. Там двигатель. А Юмини как вытек, да? С такими слитками лежит. Ага. Контейнеры. Их просто развернуло. И, и, и перекосило. Я говорю, двигатель выкинула. Это, это химарь прилетел. То есть ее, скорее всего, ну, FPV-шкой остановили, а химарь добил. Номер такой. Да я вижу, вижу, вижу. Ну это вообще вот вверх прилетело. А прям вот сюда прилетел, Ее может подвинули просто эту машину. Ну, скорее всего, ее с дороги вот. убрали. Ну, да. Это да, это, блядь, это не FPV. Однозначно не FPV, он колесом стоит прям. Это как раз снимает, как у нас. Ее добил. Ну и потом, скорее всего, уже допинали ее потом еще и в пивишками, видишь, потом. Чтоб уже до конца. Да. Да, но это химарь точно здесь присутствует. Химарь присутствует, вон как с той стороны, да, ты прав. Да. По левому борту ей прилетела. Да. 